What is up, everybody? Uh, thanks for tuning in today. Uh, today we're actually going to open four of these Pikachu V boxes. Um, they're twenty dollars at Walmart. Uh, it could, it's actually a pretty decent buy because it actually has Evolving Skies in it. You get two packs of that, and then two different packs. Uh, looks like Brilliant Stars in that one, anyways. Um, but yeah, we're going to open up four of these, see what we get. Uh, potentially, later on, um, I might actually do some giveaways um, if I do uh, on this video alone. If you like and comment and subscribe, um, your name will be entered into a giveaway, and I'll get in touch with you um, later on once I do a giveaway. I don't actually have a date yet, but uh, I will soon. Alright, so let's get in here and open up four of these. I actually have three boxes open next to me at the moment. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and open this one up fresh. But the other, other three are right next to me. got your two placeholder cards which is the mini Q and then your Pikachu V. Uh, I'm not going to take these out of here. I'm going to leave them in here. Uh, that way they stay in decently good condition. Um, and then of course you have your jumbo card. There are plenty of people that like to collect these. Um, these will actually be given away as well at a later date. But let's go ahead and get into this. So we got two brilliant stars and we have two evolving skies. And then of course the code card if you'd like to use it. like we're gonna get pretty much all brilliant stars and evolving skies so for 20 bucks at Walmart this is actually a really good buy here's your code card again if you would like it so with two evolving skies packs and brilliant stars of course you can't go wrong uh, brilliant stars has a bunch of Charizards in it and evolving skies is well, a lot of people like to call it Evolving Cries, but it's still a really good set regardless. It has a lot of stuff in it that you can get. And here's your third code card if you would like it. bunch of Charizard artwork. Hopefully we can pull some Charizards. Alright, here's your fourth code card if you would like it. Let me get my finger out of the way. There you go. You got it. Alright, let's get into this. Now, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not bad. And then we should have eight of these as well, so we have about 16 packs. 16 packs, eight of each set. Not bad if you want to spend 80 bucks at, at Walmart. Um, you could probably get it at Target or something like that, but at Walmart it's twenty dollars, it's like nineteen ninety nine. Um, so that's actually a really good price if you can find them. And of course, when you get Evolving Skies and Brilliant Stars in a box, I mean you can't go wrong with that. They're both great sets. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the Brilliant Stars. All right, and then we're gonna see what we can pull. Alright, 
Uh, I'm not even going to worry about doing a little trick for you guys. I'm just going to go right through them and see what all we can get. It looks like we got a boss's order. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool little card. And looks like that's all on that one. So we got a Starmie reverse. And then we got a hollow boss's order. And then of course the bulk. <clears throat> Let's do the next one. get snow run all right looks like we got a V card pretty nice little V that'll go in our pile for the V's and then we got a Lux, Lux row reverse Again, yeah, this is something new to me, so hopefully I get better at doing this later on. The back wants to come open. There we go. White coat card. Let's see what we get. Three from the back, and then the back will skip right to it. And looks like we got some pretty decent ones. Looks like we have a reverse execute. And then we have a non hollow as well. We have another white co card. We'll do the three. And then wish I had a better camera, but actually right now I don't have the money to get a better camera, so I have to go with what I have. Um, so we got another reverse. Not the best camera in the world. Very sorry about that. I will definitely get a better one once I have more money. Of course, I could always do it from my phone, but my phone's not the greatest either. Alright, we got a hit in this one somewhere. We'll do four, and then the front. Alright, energy. And we'll go through them. So we got a bunch of duplicates already. Far-fetched. And then we have a reverse. And then a non-hollow. card again one two three four all right and we'll just shuffle through them real quick see what we get snow run ah so we got the we got the first and then we got the second form and it looks like we actually got two of the same ones a reverse and a non hollow Alright, two more packs. Hopefully we can get a Charizard, but I mean, I'm not holding my breath on it. It's not a lot of packs, so. Alright, we might have another hit in this one. Alright, let's see what we get. Alright, we've got the hunting gloves. Hopefully we can get a Charizard out of it then. Alright, let's see. So we got another non hollow. And then we have, uh, we have a reverse, and then we have our non-hollow. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Let's 
Alright, on the last pack of the Brilliant Stars, hopefully we can pull a Charizard. We can only hope, because it is a black code card. Of course, in the newer sets, that doesn't really matter at all on Scarlet and Violet that just came out, because the code cards don't matter anymore. Alright, let's see what we got. Uh, we got something definitely back there. I can see it. Alright, here we go. We are... We got something. Something back there. And I believe it is Mini-Q. Alright. It is a Mini-Q VMAX. Full art. It is a very beautiful card. Very, very beautiful card. Wish the camera would focus. That would be great for you guys to be able to see it better. Uh, of course, my lighting is not the best either. But that's the card. I mean, one pretty big, decent hit out of it is not bad at all. Alright, so we're going to start on the Evolving Skies now. Let me clean some of this up, get the bulk out of the way. Um, and of course when I do do a giveaway, I will more than likely, the code cards that didn't show on screen, I will more than likely put some of those in for the people who win the giveaways. Alright, let's start on the Evolving Skies here. Pray for something good. Alright, we have a black code card. One, two, three, four. Alright, let's see what we can get. <sighs> Lucky Ice Pop. There is definitely something in here in the very back. Alright, we have the Lily Pup, and then we have a reverse. What do we have? Oh, we have a Suicune V. Suicune V. Very pretty card. Blue. Definitely a very pretty color. Alright, let's try again. We have a white code card. I mean, it doesn't technically mean you can't get a hit in it, but more than likely you won't get anything. But we'll let's flop through it and see what we can get. Wish I had a better camera angle for you guys. So we didn't get anything, we got a seismic toad. That's what we ended up getting as the rare. And then I reversed uh, Mr. Sharky here. Alright, we're doing another one. Open this one. It's a white code card. Still doesn't mean you can't get anything. I mean, you could. It's very possible that you could. Alright. Flying Dragons. Uh, that's a very cool little dude right there. Not the best uh, angle, but... And then we got that one. Uh, but that's our reverse. Nice little little guy. Let's do the next one. White code card again. It's a long shot. Uh, if we had maybe more packs of Evolving Skies, could probably pull some pretty good stuff. Uh, I mean, uh, got your little love fish as the reverse, and of course, Mrs. Mr. Apple. You got Mr. Flapple. All right, Let's see what else we can get out of here. It'd be nice if we could pull the uh, Moonbrion. 
I would probably have a heart attack. But it's a long shot to pull that. But you never know. It's a possibility. It could happen. Alright. This will be our reverse. And then we have the reverse of the first one we pulled. The non-hollow version. Alright, let's get started. We got two packs left after this one. I think for my next video, it's probably going to be uh, a Bobby Sky Blister pack you can actually get from Walgreens. Um, comes with two packs and then a pin, white code card. Um, but I have a few of them. I don't have a lot of them, but I think I have like five or six. But I'll probably do a video on that next and uh, probably give away on that one as well. See what we got. All that. We have a pincer. Reverse. Then I have a Talon Flame, non hollow. Alright, let's start on the next one. Let's see what we can get. Alright, we might have a hit in this one. Let's see what we can get. You never know, we might get lucky. Alright. Pretty much already seen it, but this is our reverse. That's our reverse. And then we have an Inte. Nice little card, nice hollow Inte. Can't go wrong with that. So, out of eight packs, I mean, we've had one V and then a hollow and then the rest uh, non hollows. Hopefully. We can do better on the last pack. We'll see. And it doesn't look like we're going to because it looks like it's white. But there's always the possibility we could pull something out of there. Uh, let's see. It looks like we got the non hollow and the reverse hollow version of it. Of that little guy right there. And then it looks like we got a Dark Rafa. So we didn't really get the greatest of hits out of that. But regardless, it was still fun to open it. And it was good to, at least we got, Brilliant Star has got a decently good hit. <laughs> But Brilliant Stars definitely, if I was to rate the actual overall pulls, VMAX can't go wrong with it. Did get a V as well. Um, didn't actually get a hollow, I don't believe. It's all mostly reverses. But if I had to pick, it would definitely be uh, Brilliant Stars that uh, won that overall in terms of the card itself pull rate wise just because it got a VMAX I mean if I would have got like a trainer gallery or something like that it still would have been decently good but with the four pulls we did get it's not too bad but anyways these will be all given away to a Probably two lucky winners. I'll probably do one for the Brilliant Stars and then one for the uh, other one. That way we can have two winners instead of just one. I believe that would be be nice to do. Alright, well that's going to end my video for today. Um, I am going to have another video coming up soon uh, it'll probably be the one with the blister packs and then of course I do have these uh, EBTs here that I will eventually open up right now I'm not gonna open them up I'm actually saving them up uh, until I get a few more and then I'll open them up all at once um, of the same versions I do have Crown Zenith then I have uh, Pokemon Go Shining Fates 
Um, then I had do have the RCS box with like seven seven different booster packs in it, and then I also have some tins and stuff I can open up. Uh, I do have like five celebration um, Charizard ones that I'm going to do as well. Uh, and then I have some other Crown Zenith stuff that I'm going to do as well. And some tins for Crown Zenith. Uh, but just stay tuned for that. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next ones. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment if you do want to be in a giveaway. Um, once I announce it later on. Uh, if you do have any questions. Uh, you can feel free to message me. Uh, on, in the comments under this video and then I will reply back to you as soon as I can uh, thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys in the next one